Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we have an unpackaging and an unboxing, both from uh, shops on Amazon and I'll put the details down below. They are storage items and I did get them a little while ago, but I don't believe they are still available. Uh, so we'll have a look at uh, ooh, which one, which one, which one. Let's have a look at this one first. Just pop those. There's two of those because they were such good value. I got two. <laughs> Can't resist a bag and you know me. Right, so this one, I've uh, taken the seal off already. Let's uh, get in the right place. And this is a little diamond painting storage and toolkit. And I just thought it was that little bit different. So let's get into the packaging and have a look. This one is from, uh, as I said, I got it on Amazon and it's a store called, now then, sorry, I can't pronounce this, but it's D-Z-O-A-F-N. So <laughs> how you pronounce that, I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, it was at 13 99 and I did get a little bit of discount, so I got this for £12.59. And it's what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18 storage container. So I thought this was quite cute and it's got a few extras with it as well, so we'll have a look. I ordered it on the 27th of May and it was Amazon Prime, so it came the next day, which was brilliant. I love Amazon Prime. Okay, so it's got one of these little tear things here. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so I've not seen uh, containers in the top, like stand. I've got a little like rubbery stand that I've got for, oops, quite a lot in this. Oh, okay. Oh, got lots in. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, I've got a little rubbery style stand that I have for my drill pens and all my bits and pieces. So let's see what we've got. So we've got the 18 storage uh, containers. We've got some pens here, which are the pink pens with the old style um places on them that's like a two I'm not sure what that is where's my little card Liz get yourself organized where is it where is it there it is get it get it get it okay so we have is that a, that's a six placer so we've got a six placer there so that may be that's a nine placer and I do believe, is that a three or is that a two? No, that's a three. So we've got a six, uh, sorry, a three, a six and a nine placer in pink pens. I mean, great if anybody's just starting out and that's what they want. Okay. We've got a little brush, which I have used one of these before. I did use it for uh, sealing some of my diamond uh, projects. And I did find it went a bit yellow at the end, even after I'd washed it. But it's okay. You, know, you can use it for maybe collecting your diamonds up if you've spilt them, like me, that's a spiller. Um, but yeah, so I've got a little brush there as well. I've got a selection of little boats. Are they both the same size? Yep. So the, the flat bottom ones, they're not the Mosfer boats. They are just flat bottom. So I think, I believe these are slightly smaller than the Mosfer boats. But, you know, they work for smaller projects or whatever you're wanting to do. Uh, we've got a couple of your standard little green boats as well. Uh, I know a lot of people use them, you know, and put them in trays now and put all the colours out together. We've got a straightener. That's a really good straightener. Yeah, that's really good. So as you're doing your diamonds, as you're starting off on your edges, if you're not, uh, not very good at straight lines, you can use this along your straight lines. And line your diamonds up as you do your edges on your diamond painting or you can run it um, down the lines on your diamond painting to get them straight um, I do do that sometimes but to be honest if mine are a bit wonky they are <laughs> oh, we've got a, a square funnel I've not seen one of these before so this is for getting your diamonds from your trays into your little containers and it's a one that just flattens down as well oh, i'm quite enjoying doing this this is i do like it's like i always like to get the toolkits from the companies because i like getting the toolkits it's like a little extra present 
and I don't use half of them but I just like getting them are you like that or is it just me <laughs> so yeah that just fits into your containers and you pour your drills your diamonds through there so that's good we've got three of your pen grips so they just go onto your pens just to make them a little bit more comfortable to use and in this hot weather at the moment everything is so humid here and so sticky that that is going to be great for using so i'll pop those on the pens so we've got those quite a comprehensive little kit as i say just as a little present to you or present to somebody that's just starting or just uh, yeah so and then we've got some stickers you can never have enough stickers uh oh they only just fit on those containers look they will fit but only just so yeah a nice little uh, selection of stickers there to put on your drills big plate of wax i think that's the see-through wax so it's not the brilliant wax um but it does the job you know you, you just have to fill your pen up maybe a little bit more but yeah it does the job so two four six eight ten of your little squares of wax there and some of the tweezers oh and they're not bad tweezers actually usually you get the ones that um have got the curved ends so they're just straight ends so they're a little bit different tweezer if you can see there oops come this way Liz I will get used to this camera so yeah they've got the straight end on the tweezers there rather than the curve so yeah a little bit useful okay and then we come to the tray which is a nice sturdy tray they're not gonna will they drop out no they're not dropping they're not dropping out okay whether they would with drills in I wouldn't maybe turn that looks like it's a oh yeah so it's a rubber casing over like a plastic tray so that's good so that means it grips the bottles more and they look like they're a good size bottle oh they've got a, a grip look there and then this is for standing your pens in so you've got a pen stand as well so if you've not got much space and you're just doing a little kit i suppose you could get a couple of these if you've got one that's got more than 18 colors um, but yeah that's great so let's see how many of these fit in um i've got some three eight six five drills that i've got a lot of from one of my kits that i've not kitted up yet so i thought we'll just see how many will actually fit into one of these containers i think the ones in the um like suitcase with the zip around fit about 14 to 1600 which is about seven to eight packs of these little uh, 200s you don't get these all that often now and um, these are 200 packs of uh, the standard gems so, so they're all 3865 so let me just grab a pair of scissors and let's see how many we can get in it's nice to see how many you can fit in because then if you do get like a, a inventory sheet with your diamond painting you can see uh, it gives you a rough idea as to whether your gem gems your drills are going to fit in okay so that's two packs and then i will remember where i put these actually i'll probably put them in another bag and put them straight into the bag with all the other gems otherwise i'm gonna lose these aren't i you know what i'm like i've got a brain like a sieve <laughs> okay that's four packs so that's 800 this kit has got an awful lot of this colour wow oh that's the first one spilt but it was stuck in the top of the lid oh no i've got a few more there as well oh, thought i was doing well to get away with it so that's another two packs there so what we've got two four six So it's usually seven or eight packs you can get in which is 1400 to 1600 so yes yeah, so we've got seven packs in there i think you can see there's a little bit of spit it's just left in the top there i'm not going to put another one in so yeah that's uh, pretty good the same size as the ones that go um are they the same width have i got one anywhere handy that i can have a look at this i have 
we'll have a look. So, ah, right, these look a little bit fatter. So these are, oh, okay. So I think you can see these are a little bit thinner but they're a little bit taller, so they do fit more or less the same. Um, these maybe won't fit in your like suitcasey cases because with them being that little bit thinner, I mean they will go in, but they might not stay very stable. If you see what I mean. <laughs> so that's those. So yeah, I think for uh, twelve pound fifty nine, did I say on that kit? Yeah, that's a pretty nice little kit. She'll certainly be using that. Yeah, twelve pound fifty nine. Okay, so that's that one. So let me uh, get all these sorted out now then. Put those little bags in there. This is what the nozzle came in. And I'm just going to put... Oh no, I'll keep those out because I'll use them with the next storage as well. Oh look, I've got a few extras there as well. And then I will need to put these drills into a bag so that they go in the kit so that I know what they are. Doing white drills in a white tray doesn't really work, Liz. Not with my eyesight anyway. That was a bit of a silly thing to do. But never mind, it was just the first big lot of colour I came across. Okay, so I'll just pop those out the way there. Right, so let me just, I'll keep those out. Let me just uh, pop these back in this bag. Yeah, that's uh, really good. Actually, I'll use one of the little green boats for the next one. And just squash that down. And I've never seen one with a square on the end before like that. Ooh. Okay, and the pens and the brush. And just put all those over to one side. Put that tray out the way. Try and stay tidy, Liz. Is the order of the day right i don't need that again because the next one is literally oops just um storage containers so let's just pop that there and these are from the macting store on um amazon oh, the brain went then they're actually what they call embroidery boxes so We'll see what they've actually got in them. That's the mean diamond embroidery, I'm not really sure. So these were, as I say, I used um, the Vipon app for these, V-I-P-O-N. And it's a place where if you download the app, if you go on, there's various different special offers. Sometimes the special offers are already, already on Amazon anyway. When you click onto it, it'll say Amazon special 50% off or 60% off or whatever anyway. Um, and some of them, the code has already gone. Somebody else has already got the offer before you. Uh, but it's always worth a try. And these are normally uh, £12.99 each, but I got the two for £10.39. So what does that make them? £5.18-ish? We'll round it up, say £5.19, £5.20 each. So that was a really good buy. Sorry, I'm just going to have a quick slurp of tea. It's so hot in here. Oh, that's good. I've got a towel. I've got one of those wet towel things around my neck to try and keep cool. Because this room does get really, really warm. It's early in the morning here at the moment. Because I thought, right, I'm going to try and film a little bit earlier. And it's 65 degrees already. <sighs> So goodness knows what it's going to get up to the rest of the day. And I'm sorry for people in Canada uh, and America that are having really, really bad heat. Um, you know, it, it's it's terrible the way uh, it's affecting people. OK, so let's get back to this. Let's get back to some diamond embroidery boxes. So have I opened that one? Let's open this one. And here have a look. So these are 30 of your little bottles okay you get some labels again you can never have too many labels and I'll be in a little all right okay so oh gosh we're in loads of packaging bubble wrap great keep that for my christmas decorations and then oh look at these these are in like a, a clear plastic container now that is really yeah three four five Yep, 30. Uh, they are only smallish. 
um, but if you've got one that's got a lot of colours, a lot of confetti, that's great. But that takes up a really small space, a really small footprint. It's really neat and tidy. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So that's the first one I got. Put the box out of the way. And the other one is the same. Okay, so I did get two of them. So again, we've got lots of labels, which is brilliant. And again, well packaged look. In bubble wrap and these I ordered oh gosh, let me look let me look on the 18th of May and they were again on Amazon Prime so I've got next day delivery so that was brilliant and so sorry I have had them a while I've just not had a chance to do the unboxing on them okay so do they stack well they line up but they will move so yeah but nice little container so let's have a look but yeah if you've not got much room then these are going to be brilliant hmm okay you could use them for spare oh shit storing your special gems as well helps if you get the container the right way up Liz now that's something to watch I might put a sticker on the top so I know which is the lid and which is the base, because otherwise I'm probably going to open these upside down all the time. Maybe that'll be just me. Okay, so let's just see how many of these hold. They're the little plastic screw lid containers, so you will need to be careful with them. They are quite substantial. Um, I'm squeezing that quite hard and it's not really moving. But obviously, you know, all plastic with plastic is likely to crack. Um, these containers have like a, a soft plastic lid so they tend to last that little bit better uh, but yeah you know you've just got to be careful with these things oh they're really little dinky little dodars these I like these so let's see how many we're getting let's try three eight six fives again stand it on a green tray look I'll do one uh, packet at a time on these because we don't know how many we're going to get in. So that's 200. Yeah, they, that can be quite deceptive. They can sometimes hold a lot more than you think. Okay, that's 400. Ooh, yeah, definitely get another one. Oh, and somebody's out doing the grass, mowing the grass, so I do apologise if you can hear a lawnmower, but it's just that time of year and everybody's having the same idea, get out early before it gets too hot. Okay, so that's 600. Oh, oh look, I'm throwing them around. Good old Liz, chucking things around. You'd maybe get another one in there, um, but I'm not going to risk it. So they hold about 600 drills, which isn't a huge amount, but uh, yeah, you probably, yeah, you will get another one in there. So six to 800 drills, shall we say, but you know, okay. Um, they are smaller, it takes up a smaller space, but sometimes if you're doing say a 30 by 30 painting or a 30 by 40 painting, um, or if you like to kit up your special drill um, paintings, then these are ideal, you know, nice little pots. But yeah, impressed with that. Okay, so that's our storage for today. So we've got, I've got 60 there. I mean, if you think, if you had one of those 60 storage containers, okay, the bottles are bigger, they hold more, but that's quite a small little footprint for 60 storage containers. Let me just measure that and show you how big this box is because you maybe can't get. So it is six and a half inches, which is 16 centimeters that way by, what's that? 50, 13 and a half centimeters, five and a half inches that way. So, you know, they are very, Small, oh, really cute, dinky little doodars. <laughs> so that's those, and then we had our little pack with everything else in as well. Okay, well, 
let me know what you think to these would you use these um and i think that's me done for now so thanks for stopping by everybody uh, if you want to see me kitting up using these which i will be doing then if you press the subscribe button down here you'll get notified when the next videos pop up and if you've enjoyed it if you press the like button just give me a bit of a hand with youtube so thanks for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye for now